Hi there, we're going to add some additional leaves to this fall picture using the Falling Leaves Overlay and Action Collection. The overlays are uh, pictures of real leaves, real leaves, and they are in a folder in the, in the product zip file that you downloaded, and we're going to use the actions to help us access those and put them on the picture. So what you do in Element, we're using Elements 12, and so everything I'm doing right now can be done in elements 6 through 13. Elements um, 11, 12, and 13 will probably use the action panel to do this. Elements 6 through 10 will probably, well, can only use the photo effects panel, which I'll show at the end of this. So I'm going to use the action panel, and you install it. There are instructions on how to install actions in your product download folder. And I'm going I'm to go to Place Leaves Action. Okay, place leaves, and I'm going to hit play. And then my Mac Finder will open up, or if you're on a PC, your Windows Explorer will open up. And I'm going to come in here and click and just grab a couple of leaves. Well, one leaf at a time. You can only do one leaf at a time. So we can place it. The little boxes on the corners or the box here in the middle, you can, um, if you want to resize it and stay the same, you can do that so the ratio stays the same or if you want to kind of smush it up a little bit you can grab the box on the side or the top which will kind of um, alter it a little bit but it might be better for your image so feel free to um, smush and turn and tweak it however it seems best for your picture all right so I've got it there I could do it again go through and place and pick it um, leaves now don't be alarmed mine there are there are many 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 leaf overlays in the folder I just only have a few on here because my MacBook Air has limited space and so I just picked a few I usually edit on my PC here I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit here we go all right so I have it, and you'll just do what you feel is best for your picture. Maybe something like that. Okay, so we have the leaves added, and we can see. So there's before, there's after, and you can add even more. So I just added a few. Then you can go through, and you can, if you see some you really like, we can duplicate them. Whoops. <laughs> you have to be on the layer you want to duplicate, so I want to duplicate that one. And I've got it, so now I have two of those. I might stick another one over here. Who knows where I'd... it should go. Um, we can merge them. We can rotate. So if you want to um, quickly be able to rotate and move and manipulate a leaf and you're not sure what tool to use, then you can just click on move, rotate, and resize. You do want to be on the layer, you know, on, on a leaf layer. Then you can um, blur it, add a shadow, um, add an inner glow. So play with each of those actions. They're in the guide that is in your download folder. It will show you, kind of talk about what each action does. So be sure to look over that. I can't go into all of them. But I wanted to show you how you can kind of blur the leaves to help them blend in a little bit and not look so much like they've been cut and pasted onto the picture. So I'm on a leaf layer. Okay, I'm on the leaf layer. The layer you're out, the active layer is blue in elements. 11 through 13 all right and then then the 6 through 10 it's a very gray interface and so it'll be um, just a darker or lighter version for you okay so now I'm going to simplify that and then it'll allow me to blur it and I can blur it a lot so we're looking at that leaf right there so I've blurred it right out of existence with that that's too much so we can bring it back down and we can make it real slight or we can make it a little bit more just depends on what we want there's a slight blur, a medium blur, and a serious blur. So that will help you kind of blend those uh, leaves into your picture. There are also actions for desaturating colors, adding some different special colors if you want to kind of change the tones of your image. Um, something like um, Claret will do it. So there's some creative actions in there. There are some workflow actions, softening, vignettes, overall lightness, darkness, ungrouping layers, deleting hidden layers before and after, flattening, so when you're done with everything, you'd flatten 
okay? And then you would save your uh, image as a new file, not overriding your original. But that is a little bit of a preview of the falling uh, leaves action set for elements 11 through 12, okay? Elements 6 through 10 users, hang on, it's going to be very brief. You can do the, all the same things as we just did, but via the photo effects panel. So you'd install your actions, and then they're going to be in the drop-down menu, falling leaves. And we can go back to, actually, let's just come in here. Okay. So we have, have our layer still, and we're going to come to this. So we can still do the place leaves. We just double click on them and everything else is exactly the same. So the only thing that's different is that these are thumbnails where the actions here are individuals, but you'll use them the exact same.